Okay, this will be the last video of this lawn boy until I get some more input on it. As you can see, I took the head off. I wanted to see if the head gasket was potentially compromised. That's why it was shutting off. I've done the carburetor. I've done the ignition coil. I even drained the oil. The oil was overfilled, so I drained that down put some good used oil in it just for now I'm not gonna put clean oil in a machine that's not running correctly I've had the safeties disconnected still only running for about 30 seconds then dying one time I was able to actually get it to run longer I don't know if that was some sort of an anomaly that's why I'm kind of thinking could the head gasket actually be blown and it may have resealed itself and it blew again. I'll show you what the head gasket looks like. There was no obvious burn spots through the head gasket anywhere. So there's a few rub spots where it came off um, where it was stuck to the head. But to me, it doesn't, doesn't look like an, an obvious blown head gasket. So there's no oil really in the in the bore, not nothing that we really be concerned about. Um, and like I said, always it starts up first pull, always starts first pull. So really, I'm not sure what's actually going on with this. Let me sit down here, show you what the bore looks like. These videos won't be coming out for a few weeks about this and I'm kind of tired of push mowers at the moment anyways so see there's a little bit of oil right here but that's common you always get like a little bit of oil at the base and there's what the bore looks like and I can still feel a bit of a cross hatch I like go in there valves to me First glance, don't look too bad. So, so anyways, that's where we're at on this right now. I'm just going to leave it and hopefully get some input and some suggestions on what could be wrong. Like I said, I don't like working on push mowers regardless of what they are. And this one here... It was free, but that carburetor can always go on to another machine. So I'm just into this for time. The videos will pay out what um, my time's worth sort of thing. And really, I do want to try and save it. I'm considering popping the drive off and then popping the drive off another engine and seeing if it will work and just swap the engine. Uh, that is my next... Uh, idea if I don't get any good input on what the problem could actually be so anyways these videos won't come out until um, after July after July 21st and I think it's the 16th today so anyways that's uh, pretty much it for this push mower and also this one won't, won't probably come out till August at some point this video so most likely I did miss the good opportunity to sell this for this season but really, like I said, it's not working properly and it's not worth selling at the moment anyways. So if I have to hold on to it for another year, that's not too big of a deal. I'll put it back in the shed yet again and I will hold on to it for another year. So I'll talk to them later. Please keep it redneck like always and uh, please subscribe and comment. Like I said, it runs for about 30 seconds, then it dies. New carburetor, I've replaced coils, I have disconnected safeties, it still does it. Bye for now.